Yes, yes, people, we are back live. We are back live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube for another Sarcasm City TV special. For those that haven't seen the Sarcasm City TV specials before, it's where I sit down one on one live streams with the biggest and best content creators in the game. It's all about celebration, it's all about giving them their flowers and giving people their flowers whilst they can still smell them. Too often, I said this at the start of each and every special we've done, we wait till people have passed away and are no longer here to tell them how great they was, how great their content was and how much we fucks with them. So that's what this show is all about. It's not even just giving them one flower or a bouquet of flowers, the whole florist, because they've done so much in regards for the culture, and that's a key word I'm going to use in regards to introducing, introducing this man in regards to the culture, in regards to other content creators as well. And just the whole content creator for fans, this space in general. So this person right here, without doubt, easily, he is your favorite content creator's favorite content creator to work with. Let's just get that out of the way. Supremely entertaining. Supremely entertaining. You know how you know man is entertaining? Because he got quotes that still live on. Like that's first and foremost. Not many people have things that get said and stick. You know what I'm saying? When you must, you didn't must. Something I use every day. When you must, you didn't must. The curtains on the wall. If my if my nada had um, wheels, she'd be a taxi or whatever. So let's just get that out of the way from a comedic from a comedic standpoint as well. And in regards, he's the he shows the heart and passion of football fans. Iconic after the ground after the game when he's outside Old Trafford. We are waiting on them fan camps. He's consistent. Going viral is normal for him. I don't even call it going viral because it's just regular. Oh, this is just regular big numbers for this man. And in regards to the space. All jokes aside, definitely, easily, I've said this before, the face of Manchester United fans from Manchester. I think he's the biggest content creator who's a Manchester United fan from Manchester. And that's helped in particular me and many others so much. Because if, I think if the coach, he says representing the culture, I think if the culture could talk, it would sound like him. And I think that's the biggest estimate. Easily a Mount Rushmore candidate when it comes to that, without doubt. And it's kicked down so, so many doors. And pioneer that's the word i'm going to use pioneer was one of the the ogs of this thing and like i said one of the very first in regards to kicking down doors and breaking down barriers and taking all of the criticism that's why you still see him and fools try and criticize man now because man has the streets in regards to when he talks and I include myself in that. We listen. I'm not only on his channel. Am I grateful enough to be on his channel on a regular basis? How many other content creators have been on his channel who are now even through mine? So, for instance, I just use Rhino as an example, who's on here on a weekly basis. It was through this man's channel. Leon's over there on a weekly basis. Man Them Talk, which is a supremely popular show. And let me not even forget the big six and that. The way I've just spoke about this man in regards to him from an individual standpoint, look at what the big six show has done. And he is a key figure and a key part of the doors they've kicked down because they blew up this space from an international standpoint. They just had the meet and greet. Meet and greet, you know. There's certain mainstream me like BBC, ITV, Sky Sports, who they did a meet and greet. They don't have that many people. Never mind what they did from an international standpoint over there stateside, all up on big Fox News, you know. Fox do tell me, and I've been fortunate enough, fortunate enough already to have Matisse um, on the channel. And he spoke about the Big Six. And shout out to each and every individual in the Big Six as well. And including that, the reason why I've been on the Big Six is probably because of this man. He's probably the main reason I've had a couple appearances on the Big Six. If it wasn't for him, Big Six probably don't come and get me. So, like, with, without further ado, and I could keep going in regards to the accolades, in regards to the basis, that even when he's been on other people's channels as well, him and Rance during lockdown, shout out to Rance, people that spoke about those watching ones. So, like I said, got a welcome to the show, you know what I'm saying? My Don, family tree, who's going to continue to elevate in this game, and I can't wait to hear his whole backstory. My like Saeed is in the cut. Yes, Saeed, what are you telling me, family? You good? Yo, yo, big up, man, big up, man. Nah, listen, that, that intro is legendary, man. One thing about Flawless here, yeah, he's has the best intros on YouTube, man. You know, nobody can compete with Flawless in terms of the intros. I think Matisse said it as well a couple of days ago. Yeah, shout out to Matisse, but yeah, man. 
Nah, flawless man. You're always showing love and that, and you get me gratitude as always, man. So big up the chat, big up sarcasm city, and also big up to yourself, 10k. You know love what I'm saying? That. Like, love. bro, like the journey you've been on, the the, the grind. I see you people, man. You know what I mean? It's not easy because a lot of people they they'll quit and they'll say, you know what? Nah, it's tough. But flawless yeah. keeps on going, man. And he deserves 10k, he deserves 20, 30, and he'll get there, man. So big love up on man. the 10k, big up your community. You, you know your names, you know the names. Every time I come in this community, you see the names every time, the regulars. Yeah. So, yeah, man, large up to you, bro, and keep grinding, man. Never nah, give up. Appreciate, appreciate the kind words as well, and you mentioned it about being a legendary intro. A legendary intro for a legendary person who's doing legendary things. Nah, I appreciate it. Like yeah, 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 yeah. This base wouldn't be as big without you, you know what I'm saying? Because you was the nah, first appreciate. You know, from Manchester who did that and I've said this to you privately. I've said it said it publicly. That's why I always salute you and respect you for that because you've helped mm. so many in regards that like you and Nuruddin is iconic duo and then you've got Aaron. Then there's me and then there's loads more just in particular on your channel as well. So yeah, man, big up you lot. Make sure you subscribe to Saeed TV as well. The link is in the title. It's rolled to, what is it rolled to you now? Are you rolled to, what is it, 100K? We're going to be rolled to 100, man. Rolled to 100, you know what I'm saying? 100K, man. We're going to get there expeditiously. Yeah, man. You need to make sure you do I don't know. Some form nah, of big, big party. party for that. Trust me. Big Trust party. Trust me, man. Do you know what I mean? That's going to be a big down. one. You know what I mean? Back. So, nah, big up, man. One day, one day, man. Come in. Um, Big up to everyone in the chat. I see all of you lot. Make sure you run up the likes. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Saeed, as I was telling him before, is, is a special that you lot have been asking for all week long. So, of course, Saeed, we'll get to current affairs, your current thoughts on Ten Hag, current thoughts on Ineos, current thoughts mm -hmm. on the players and what's going to happen this season and next season. But before we get to that, we want to jump in the time machine. We want the whole backstory, fan. So, the very, very beginning. So, when... Before you started Saeed TV and your first fan cam and first getting into the con content creator space, how did that all come about? Was it an accident? Was it fought out? Talk to us. And the year you know was what? what? It, yeah, I reckon it was about 2015. I was in uni, you know what I'm saying? And I was just going to the games and it um, had a membership and that, you know what I'm saying too. Um, and then I think the following season, I got a season ticket. But that first season, when I started going regularly after uni, or sorry, in uni, yeah, man, I just literally jumped on a fan cam. Um, I think it was uh, Full Time Devils at the time, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out to Adam McCola, you know what I'm saying? I jumped on there. I think we drew to Man City. I think that was my first ever fan cam. I think it was um, nil nil, Old Trafford, dead game, dead game. But we controlled the game. Yeah, we City didn't really do much, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I think it was De Bruyne's debut as well. I think okay. it was as well. So, yeah, man. It was one of them where I gave my first interview and yeah, man, man, man got the feels of it. You know what I'm saying to you? And it was one of them where I was hella nervous, man. People think that I'm confident now, but yeah. if you actually go and check it out, yeah, it's quite funny, but I kept saying, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I was speaking, you know, like typical Mancunian, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, of course, you know what I'm saying? Man, like, was being saying you. a lot. He was being you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was just like, Saying a few things of what here and there, you know, I'm mean, a bit nervous and that, but I got through it. I felt the kind of, you know, what I mean, the, the the feelings of it and whatnot. I was like, yeah, man, this is this is good. So I started doing that consistently, but it was more so from fan camps early from 2015 to 2000. And I think it was yeah, 17 when I started yeah. my channel. But in between there, I was just doing fan camps on obviously full time devils. You know, what okay. I mean, doing so bits and bobs here on. and there. What made you so you're going to the ground? So you're in uni, it's 2015. You're going to the ground watching Manchester United games before you did your first fan camp on full time devils. Had you seen them outside the ground before? And you was like, had Yeah, you before? so you'd yeah. seen them. So, what made yeah, you say, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Let me go and do a fan camp. What was it that made you go, Yeah, I, I, I you want know this. what? I think obviously AFTV, shout out to AFTV, Don Robbie and that, but yeah. he kind of like pioneered in it, you know what I'm saying? Yes, like the, the whole scene pioneered. of like fan right. cams and, that, and like fans having an opinion, you know yeah. what I mean? That for me was something that I was like, rah, you know what I mean? You, you, you go to a game, you go home, or you have your chat in the in the gaff or whatever, or mm -hmm. you know what I mean? In the, in the, in the, in the, in the barber shop or whatever, like mm -hmm. you have them kind of chats there, you don't really have it on a camera, you feel me? So yeah. I was like, yo, let me just see what I go on. Let me say my piece in it. Like, yeah, people are loving up. it, man. Yeah, okay, bro. So was, people so, are loving it. So was it from yeah. an instant standpoint? So you said there from 2015 to 2017, you're then doing fan camps on a regular basis. Was you getting great feedback? Was the numbers yeah. good? 
to the point where you was like instantly, all right, I'm going to carry on with this. Yeah. Hundred percent. I felt like yo, like, because I remember I went to uni the next day. Yeah, talk about <laughs> it. And then my lecturer, my lecturer ended up putting it on the flipping. Oh, um, yeah, bro. She, she, it was a seminar. Luckily, it weren't it? like a full lecture, but she put yeah. it up on a seminar, and she was just running banter in it, saying, "Yo, I seen you on the on a fan cam and that." So everyone seen that. I was like, everyone was gassed. I was like, "Yo, like, right, you do this, you do in YouTube and that, YouTube sensation and that. What's going on here?" <laughs> and obviously, everyone was just like taking a mick and that little bit banter was running yeah. through. But yeah, man, literally, I was doing that. The views were great. Yeah, people were like saying, yo, get this guy on. You know when they say it, like they say, yo, get this guy on. Okay, more so often. you instantly like, got that straight away. So because you're, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. you have the it factor. So it's no surprise that the people in the comment section were saying, get this guy on. So this is 2015. You're getting the notoriety. Your, your um, lecturer at college has played it. Was there more situations like that? Whereas you was getting, right. oh, God, I'm getting recognized. Yeah. Right? like it on the yeah i recognize on the streets it's like yo you're that guy that did the the fan cam here or you're that yeah. guy that did this you know what i mean and i was like yeah man i appreciate it man you know what i'm saying and then there was this one video i think it blew up when mkhitaryan uh scored the bicycle was it a bicycle scorpion oh you mean kick? the scorpion oh. kick yeah, yeah I, know what you're kick. About. I was like i don't know what it was yet but i was mad gassed in it and it was like it went i don't know i think it went viral and kind of like Twitter at a time and kind of like social media, Facebook and that. There was a couple of clips here and there. And I was just like saying, unbelievable, like one of the best goals that I did. Like I was gassing it up basically, in it. And yeah, man, that clip got viral a little bit. And then, yeah, man, just slowly kept doing it and doing it. And then obviously I got my season ticket. Then I was like, yeah, man, man's, man's here, in it. You feel me? So, and then, yeah, man, literally went and carried on. And obviously the, the feedback was just great, bro. And, so you I thought, Yo, this is me, man. This is me. So, that, so yeah, you moved proper. from that standpoint from doing your first fan cams on Full Time Devils and the response you was getting and being recognized and getting notoriety and going viral. You mentioned the Mkhitaryan Scorpion kick. You're like, this is what I want to do. And you started your channel. How long after doing your first fan cam did you round about the time to um, decide to start your own channel? And what? And it was it solely because of the success. You was like, let me start my own channel and talk about this. You know what? That that year, hundred percent, partly, but also um SC Dons, man. I don't know if you man know SC Dons. Oh yeah, SC Dons, um, yeah, with Don Straps and yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Them man, them man were doing bits, bro. I don't mm. listen, shout out to everybody who, who who who's watching right now, yeah. But if you go and check their early years of, of, of SC Don, them man were basically taking YouTube to a next level where they were engaging with the community and me and my boy was in tim hortons right in shooting mill and he was like go check out these se dons i was like let me see these guys and basically they were playing football sunday league but then it was like it was like it was funny commentary ban all you know what i'm saying i was like yo man i like this you know and then i was like yo let me just try this youtube thing and obviously with the with the football as well with what i was doing i thought let me make a channel in it you feel me and then yeah. that's summer i think summer 2017 uh Mourinho's first year i think yeah. the first season I started it, bro. And then, yeah, man. So we're, Mourinho's we're first right now. 2017 is when you decided yes. to start the channel first because vlog. of the success yeah. you had. So you was like, okay, let me vlog. So once you started yeah. the channel, you was fully like, all right, I'm going to vlog. I'm going to do my own fan cams as well, my own match reviews, I should say. Was there anything else yeah. at that point you was like, yeah, let me, let, me, let me add to my own channel? Or was it just those two things and you was like, let's run it? Bro, just 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 reacted to my United, just giving my okay. opinions on my United. That's what it was. Obviously, at that time, didn't really know too much about, about podcasts and that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was one of them. Like, I didn't really watch it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just literally match vlogs and giving people a, a opportunity to understand what it's like. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, yeah. Being at Old Trafford, being at the games, etc. And then obviously. It was like the the reactions in it of like what I thought about certain things and whatnot. So literally, mm. that's all it was, you know. That's that's I my surface level was very very small, you know. What I mean, obviously now we got so many ideas, so many content that's, ideas. It's different. Yeah. But at yeah, the time, Broski was like minimal because I was like I, I didn't really see myself as doing this as a job or as a full time career. Mm. You know, what I'm saying to you at a time, I was teaching. I just started one of my teaching jobs. And I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to focus on this. I wasn't really focused on too much that. So, yeah, literally done that. And then, yeah, literally first vlog was Leicester at home. I think Luke Shaw got the winner. Uh, my United's won 2-1, yeah, our yeah. first home game. And, yeah, man, that, that was it, bro. Literally, that first vlog, that was me. 
Okay, so you've started the channel. And was there a short-term, medium-term slash long-term vision with it? Or like you said, because you wasn't really knowledgeable, it was like, let me just run this and see where it goes. And was you still, did yeah. you still, once you started your own channel, I'm guessing you still was made was doing fan cams for, I mean, doing fan cams on full-time devils as well, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was still combining the two. I was still yeah, combining okay. the two at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to, and then yeah, literally just building my 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 my, my image in it. You feel me? And just kind of yeah. like, you know, doing bits and bobs, and then just kind of trying to get to like ten subscribers, bro. Like <laughs> at the time, and I was <laughs> like, yo, get the family, yo, everyone subscribe, yeah. everyone subscribe. Then it was like get to fifty. Then it was get to yeah. hundred. So I was like hundred. Yeah. I was like, yo, I was chilling. I was celebrating. Super yo. Was in those years, like hundred subs. Yeah, bro. First hundred subs, I was like, yo, gassed. You know what I mean, bro? I was like, yo, what's going on here, man? But, you know, then with little small little details and like getting views on, on YouTube, bro. Like, I never yeah. ever publish a video. At that time, I was just a consumer. You know, but just yeah. seeing the numbers of like 100 views, 300 views, 500, yeah. like, you know what I mean? And a random yeah. vlog hitting 10K, you know what I mean? For some reason, like, yeah, you know, yeah. so it's one of them where it's like, it's a blessing, man. Cause I was like, yo, like, this is good, man. And then at the time as well, YouTube football was like growing in it. It was like it wasn't like Robbie started, I think, in 2013, but like yeah. in the time it was there, it was still naturally growing. 2017, yes. it, was it, was brand new, it's like, it was still a brand new yeah. space, yes, yes, yeah. You know, what I mean, it's not as if you know it was like congested or whatever, or it was yeah. saturated. It was like literally like, yo, whoever gets on board, you know, you're using know, stocks, like raise your stocks right now, you know, the ones there, right. so, so yeah, man. Literally did that, and then yeah, man, just kept kept building new ideas and whatnot, and just just try to like think of new ideas and whatnot. But yeah, that was literally like my start, like 2017 on on YouTube. Yeah, and it was called United Central, man. It wasn't called. I remember like, United you know, Central. I remember United Central. Yes. Yeah, man. United Central. I, 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 yeah. United. I don't know what. I don't know who thought that idea. I don't know. I think it might have been my chat. I don't know. I just yeah. thought to myself like. At the time, I didn't want to like do my name. I don't know what it is, you know. At the time, yeah. if I don't, if I don't know now, I would have put it a ASAP. Like if hindsight was a wonderful thing. I would have changed the Saeed TV. But at the time, you know what I mean. It was more so like I don't. I didn't see people with their names as as their thingy. It was like just channels and what you were called. Like you know what I mean. So I I thought United Central Central about United. You know what I'm saying to you. Yeah, but sense. then I realized, obviously, we'll talk about it in a bit, but. I was the basically the center of my channel. Yeah, so you're the brand. It's not people ain't there for Manchester United talk solely. They're exactly. There and yeah, like you, you said, hindsight is a wonderful thing, but United Central, which I do remember, like it makes sense. So this is 2017. Yeah. You start. You started your channel. Subscribers is going up. Views is going up. I presume your social media numbers are going up as well on yeah, all platforms, like Twitter, Instagram. You're still doing fan cams on full time devils as well. What was the, and you've had moments you're getting recognized. So then at that point, did you have like a huge viral moment? I know you've gone viral previously, but there's a time where you mm. was like, oh, geez, like, I'm going clear here. Yeah, I'd probably say, yeah, probably that Newcastle game, man. That Newcastle game when I did a fan cam outside, well, outside the crowd. <laughs> yeah, bro. Listen, if you know, you know, man. You know what I'm saying? That was probably the most viral moment I had at that time. That was like yeah. two years into it. You know what I'm saying to you? Before that, I was doing a few, there's a few clips going around, but you know what yeah. I mean? Of like, yo, this Said well, guy's that was the one that, real. that was the one that burst through the ceiling. Yeah, that, that was, was the one that went trending. That went yeah. trending on YouTube. Yeah. That was the one that kind of was like, yo, like, rate, who's this guy? Like, proper, like, you know? Like, that was the one that kind of like, like sparked everything and just kind of, you know, made everything in terms of what i was mm. you know people see my 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 name out there or whatnot so that was a kind of moment a viral moment that i had you know what i mean in terms of like yo rah saeed people gotta recognize this guy man because he's speaking from real from the heart like Facts? you know I mean, rashford moment the sondico boots you know what i mean you're not ronaldo bro said it in the chat you're not ronaldo. Ronaldo. <laughs> and you know what it's still right till today man you know what I'm saying like it's one of them where people people hate on me but like I'm like yo you're not Ronaldo bro like you're it's not one Ronaldo, of them where, bro. <laughs> bro I just had enough because I remember I went there me and Adam went there I think Aaron went there with us as well shout out to Aaron um, and yeah bro it was early start 
you know what I mean? Man barely had any food. I was, you know, I was tired. You got to go on them stairs. I don't know if you... Newcastle, Newcastle are known that I've never been away, but people say Newcastle away, you're so high up. Like, Bro, it's just what a great away so day high up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fam. He's so high up, bro. So then what happens then is, yeah, I just had enough, bro. So I came out. You could see my head was hot. You know what I'm saying to you, bro? I was sweating. I was like, yo. And I was like, my head was fuming. I said, sell everyone, bro. You get me? I'm fun with these guys, man. I've had enough. And at that time, yeah, we were in relegation form. You know what I'm saying to you? And ultimately, you know what I mean? The players were... Like, we got beat by that kid called Sean Longstaff's brother, Long, Matty Longstaff. Bro. Matty 19. Longstaff, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I like... mean? Yeah, Shout yeah, out yeah. to the kid, but he ain't played since. You know what I mean, bro? So I feel like that that time there, bro, we got done over. We ended up on the pitch with like Ashley Young and them, man. And like the team was just dead, bro. That team there. And it was just, I was frustrated, bro. And that moment there, there was a catapult to like everything I did after. Because then that man, then my channel was just mad. Like so people had seen that. Like, so of course, that fan come, that's on the United stand, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and that what year was that 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 fan cam went out? 2019. Okay, October. So before we continue from that, so obviously you're working 2015 to 2017. You're on full time devils. Your channel's going off. What made you go from full time devils over to the United stand? Do you remember why you did that and when it happened as well? You know what it was? Yeah, I remember it was um, like late 2018 and that, yeah. yeah. But I feel like it was one of them where I seen Flex outside the ground and that. And it was like, he was struggling to get like fans like to come over and have a chat yeah. with him. In it. Obviously, he's new at the time. He started a new job. You know, he shout to Flex, but he, he, he obviously was struggling in it. And I was like, yo, like, that's a brother right there. Man, this is a part of brothers, isn't it? You feel me? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, yeah, that's one of us. You know, that mm -hmm. was there. And I thought, you know what? As much as I like the uh, you know full time devils at the time and large up to to adam and that but i was like yo like i saw flex i was like yo like that's a brother right there culture i thought yeah let me, let me see what he's saying man the minute so i thought let me just see what he's saying and the way he kind of came across i thought for me was a bit more better it's a bit of me you know what i'm saying it's a bit of me like you know what i'm saying like <laughs> it's a bit more kind of i can say fam i can say yeah you know it's I mean? more basically it's just more relatable from a cultural standpoint rather than shout yeah. out to full time devils but you can relate more to flex because yeah flex is us he's just the united fan from down south rather than being yeah. a Manchester united fan from in manchester but He's from up here. And yeah, Danish Maldini said it in the chat. Rant said the exact same thing as you in regards there you go. to yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, it's a cultural standpoint. And don't get him mistaken when Saeed just says that and Rant just says that, people. It's not a colour thing. It's from a culture standpoint. Culture, culture. Like, just to clarify culture. that. Like, it's not like there's black people that we will know who we don't relate to because culturally they're not like us. Same way if you yeah. grow up with a white guy in your ends, guess what? Culturally, you lot are the same. I use this all the time. You lot see Cam Cam on the channel all the time. That's my that's fam. Culturally, yeah, yeah, Cam, yeah exactly. Same. Yeah, yeah. Culturally, Culturally yeah, yeah, yeah. he's exactly. the same because he understands the lingo, yeah, yeah. he understands how we move, the talk, the way to act, etc. etc. So you've seen flex at that point. Was it Facts. just flex you had seen? So had you seen flex just and flex. rants like the flex and rant show or any of Rance's fan cams, or was it just flex at that point? No, you know what? At the time, I didn't see um, Rance, you know. I think okay. he came when, like... Because the interviews then, there was no crowd. It was just right, me right, and right, him. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So there wasn't a crowd br bring it, like, build up. There wasn't... that When the crowd was building up and that, that's when I started to see Rance and that. That's when I started to see him out and about, coming to the games regularly. You know I'm trying to say to you? Um, mm. So... You know what I mean? And similar, I think he was on Full Time Devils as well, Rance. He did, He's yeah. He was on Full Time Devils. He's doing the exact same so, thing as you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, end of the day, we see the man them coming here. You know what I mean? Then I start to see the crowd and that. And then there was like, then we started like, you know, there was, there was a little bit of a build up of a crowd. Mm -hmm. And once the build up of a cloud came, that's when it was like, yeah, man, like, you know what I mean? This is a bit of me. And then rants and then everyone came on and had their bits and bobs mm -hmm. you know what i mean adam you know what i mean different people nuruddin you know what i'm saying to aaron came I mean, involved you like, get man. To go get to the rest of the avengers assembling and getting over there yeah. like, like mentioned because that yeah, lineup yeah, yeah was crazy we've not seen a lineup uh, there was no lineup to me as good as that in regards to depth and we haven't seen a lineup that good since so you then see flex then you then go on to the united stand 
was it and what made you make the decision to go you know what i'm going over to the united stands to do my final comes rather than full-time devils what made you make that switch um i feel like it was one of them like i said it just culturally you know what i mean doing 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 um doing that and obviously just the, the the kind of like the surroundings i feel like it's just a bit of me bro you know what i'm saying to you like just just generally like you know the the, the way i could be where where i was just like it was a bit of me bro and, and i feel like i just could speak my mind a bit more better okay, you could good. see it like the the, the 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 views and whatnot you know i mean the people like just right, in right. general that kind of circle was a bit more better for me i felt a bit more yeah. comfortable you know what i'm saying and the people who were around it as well you know what i mean sometimes we didn't really have a crowd as much as what we had on the on the other channel yeah. so it was like it was just one of them where like you know what i mean relatable just relatable, isn't relatable it? Like, yeah, relatable yeah, and just right. yeah and just surroundings in it, similar surroundings. Don't get me wrong, big up to Adam, you get me? Because yeah. Adam McCall, because obviously he gave me the first time, gave me the platform in it. So I'll always pay homage to him. But reality was, I was like, yo, because I got a message from them as well. <laughs> I got a DM from oh uh, Full Time Devil saying, yo, wrong, wrong fan cam. And I was like, yo, listen, I just didn't reply to it. I said, yo, listen, just basically like, it is what it is, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, you so, gotta go where you gotta go because you're not being paid at this point. And like you said, if you're doing bigger yeah. numbers over there and you personally feel more comfortable, that means your fan comes and the content is gonna be better. And you mentioned hindsight already. Hindsight shows it was the correct decision because it worked yeah. out for you. It was the correct yep. decision to make. So then your whole on the United stand, obviously you're there, Rant is there, you're cool with flex, fan cams are doing yeah. even more numbers. You're doing your own channels, doing bigger numbers. Obviously, the social media numbers are going up as well. So, when you got over there, did you expect that on the United stand? Um, I can't lie, it was one of them. It was a, it was a tricky one because obviously, new crowd, new people, new audience. You know, what I mean, sometimes people can have their early kind of like yo, like you know, we've we've heard enough now. You know, what I'm saying to you, like people might be bored of the same sort of opinions, but. It was actually more refreshing to the people, bro. They were like, "Yeah, man, like you, you, you know what you're talking about." He, he gets it in it, like yeah. he gets like the club. He gets what's going on. He don't really have favorites. He don't really have kind of like, you know, like any any situation where they're like, "Nah, man," like they're just like, "Yo, you're cool. Keep on, like keep coming, like basically keep going, like yeah. keep I keep coming back." To the yeah, yeah, and keep you, coming. Like I want it back on again. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, that's what it was. And, like, obviously, I was a season ticket holder at the time. So yeah. I was going to be there most home games, most yeah. some away games I was going to as well. So it was one of them where I was like, yeah, man, I'm cool, bro. Like, it is what it is. You feel me? So, yeah, man, I, I was enjoying it, bro. I was enjoying it and, and, and whatnot. And, yeah, there so you go. Ad I'm Mass Madison you. says this. Big up to you, says versus Huddersfield was first. Uh, Saeed's first fan come on the United. Right, I didn't even know that, to be fair. So, big up. So you're going back to 2018, and we're currently in 2024. So, that tells you so. You do that's the first crazy. Time. Sanchez scored two goals that day. I think Sanchez scored two goals. Okay. Um, Alexis Sanchez, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's when I thought we had a player. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was there? I thought we had a player then. We all, did. we all did. We all did. Trust me, man. Oh, we all got gas. We all did. So, you're over on the United Stand 2018. And is that where you met everybody in regards to that lineup? So, obviously, you met Flex over there. You met Rant over there. But is that where yeah. you met Meriden, Aaron, Adam Martin? Yeah. Jeff, is that where you met everybody? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I kind of knew the ends in it. Oh, so you yeah. already knew Luridin. Okay. Yeah, I, knew, that's I knew of Luridin because I knew his brothers, innit? I knew his brother. Yeah. I grew up with his brothers. I knew of him. I just didn't know, like, you know what I mean? He'd come to games and that and whatnot. Like, but I knew of him, like, you know what I'm saying? The community and whatnot. You know, I mean, my older brothers knew him. You know, he grew up from the my yeah. older brother generation. You know what I'm saying? To so mm -hmm. it's one of them where that, you know. Like we knew of it, but we just didn't really speak in that regard. Right. You feel me? Yeah, I get that. So I get that. when we came to the games, we just instantly connected. Me, him, Aaron, Adam, Rance. You get me? We just instantly connected. You get me? So yeah, man. Nah, it was amazing because we all had the community there, man. Like we just all knew each other. We all like talked about football. We all would welcome, like you know, come together. You know what I mean? Like you see us in it when we're at the game. You see us when yes. you come. Like we all in a circle. We all talking That's to each other. So it was amazing, man, to have like a community you can go to the game with and like you understand and you get like it's, sometimes it's not easy because everyone's just in their own kind of bubble. Yeah. Everyone's going on their own, but it's good to like people like you meet 
you know what I mean? And you go to games together, like, you know, we all get along and we all, like, share similar opinions and whatnot. So, yeah, man, it's um, it's amazing, bro. Yeah, so in regards to that, so you already know, Norodin, like you said, you've met Rant, you've met Aaron, you've met Adam Matic to others over there. What was the, so outside of, you already mentioned just the Newcastle fan camp as yeah. well. When did you realise, like, all right, we're onto something here. This lineup is elite because now we're starting. When did you start getting crowds on a regular basis? Because the United Ooh. stand at that point, obviously people like you from an individual standpoint, same with Norridan, same with Aaron, same with Rance Flex, etc. But that was like the, uh, that was the Avengers. Like people loved it. Like even the play yeah, away yeah, yeah. did as well. When did you realise that, oh, this is a group thing. This is the click. Like this is the squad that everybody mm. likes. When did that click for you? And you're like, well, on to I reckon, I reckon it's always going to be 2019, man. Um, yeah. That's peak, like peak, peak era of when we all kind of like blew up in it. You know what I'm saying yeah. to you? Because that was like, that was like early, just before the lockdown, but then just before like, you know, I say, yeah, 2018, 2019, but more so 2019 is where like people's views started getting over 100Ks. You Talk know what I mean? Numbers, like, man. Yeah, the, yeah, man. 100 Ks regularly, you feel me? Like, people were looking forward to it. The channel grew because of the fan cams and whatnot. Like, they, they could see, like, people were coming in and we built that kind of, like, that fan cam culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, we brought on other people. I remember KG came after as well. Shout out yeah. to KG. Yeah, he came good. after as well. So, like, people were seeing us in it and they were like, yo, like, this is, this is quality, man. Like, we can see... We can see ourselves on TV. We can, you know, we're represented, you know what I mean? And whatnot, like just regular people speaking about football, you know what I mean? Because yeah, right. sometimes there's this perception that you've got to be talking in a certain way, you know what I mean? Like reality yeah. is, it's no, it's however you interpret football, it's however you yeah, see right. football. It's, you know what I mean, bro? Like this idea that, you know, you've got to be footballing pundit to talk about football. Nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you speak how you want to speak, you look how you want to look. You wear what you want to wear. You know what I'm saying that's how it is, man. You know what I mean? So that, okay, that kind of barrier there, we 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 we, we tried to break that down as much as we could, we could, and that was something that people respected and the culture respected as well. So, yeah, man, I reckon 2019, my rants, everyone was doing bits and bobs, and obviously rants had his show with Flex KG yeah, show. Flex he was show, yeah, shining yeah, in, in his own way. You know what I mean and whatnot. And then yeah, man, I, I think Paul said it. Yeah, we had a show. Me, Lord, and Aaron. We had a show yeah. as well every Friday that was doing bits as well. So, like, we were just trying to, like, you know, build our, our own thing. You know and what I'm you saying? Man, so, you, man, what? You, man, fully built your own thing. Because, like you said, everyone's regularly doing over 100K. Man, are doing 200K, 300K clips are yeah. going viral as well. And are you just super gassed at that point? And also, on top of that, you're still make you're making content on your own channel at this point. Yep. You're still doing vlogs, uploads, etc. Yep. Are you seeing the benefits from being on the United Stand for your own channel and your own socials and clicking up with everybody? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, hundred percent, man. You get me? Like, there's, there's a there's a there's a there's a little pattern going on there because obviously people be like, yo, like who's this guy in it? Saeed TV. Yeah, so yeah. So yeah. everybody, you know, so United Center at the time, but like Saeed in it basically. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, man, let me go see what his channel's about, and from there onwards. I started to think of like building my channel more and more, like try and get some new ideas, some new content. You know what uh, I mean? And that's okay. where the Straight Jacket podcast came about with Nurdin, me and Aaron. You know what I'm saying? To you. Okay, so talk a, about a that because that is still, we talk about originals and OGs in the content creator space. That's the OG content. That's the OG show when it comes to your channel. I think that's the infamous show that people remember yeah. with that channel like i remember watching it so how did the idea yeah. for you come about for the straight jacket podcast and did you expect it to have the success and the impact it had on your own channel no nah, i can't lie to you man i didn't i didn't expect it man i remember we started it in a in a in a yogurt shop man in Lady the ricks it's oh, called man. fruit you know what i mean bro i don't know why we started it there but we started it there because remember big up hussein there's a guy there who owns the shop he was like come and do the podcast there and nobody would go there regularly so i was like yeah let's do it there innit? so we started over there and it was kind of mad yeah because we had loads of these kuwaitis here who lived around there you know what i mean and they would come in to the shop and just be loud in it 
But then it also didn't that like, the audience didn't mind it. You feel me? They were like, they were like calm, like you know what I'm saying? Like at that time, nobody's really saying, yo, get mics, get this, like you know, yeah, I start yeah. a journey. People are like, cool, it's all right, innit? You feel me? So yeah, end of the day, yeah, you know, when you when you look at the situation with that straight jacket podcast, it was me and him, raw. We called it the straight jacket podcast. It was like, you know what I mean? Like you're straight, you're in a straight jacket in it. Oh, so right. like any talk, you know what I mean, bro? So I was like, perfect. You know what I mean? I think Norden made the, the idea up for that channel, oh, you know. Nordin. It sounds so, like Norden actually it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah, Norden yeah, definitely made that, that channel the, the what it was. You feel me? So like he he thought of that idea. He was like, Yeah, cool, let's do this, man. And we just done it every Monday. Every Monday, we just did a podcast. At the start, it was only like 20 minutes long. You know, we yeah. normally podcast are like an hour. You know what I mean? We did it 20 minutes long, but we just gave us a, a quick pre-record. But you could see the numbers. Start, it was like 100 views, 200. Then it was going up and up and up and up. And then, you know what I mean, bro? Like, we were just doing it as solely videos. Like, we didn't do it as a live stream. We only did it as a live stream post, like, in lockdown times. That's when... So we'll get to that. Again. So we'll get to that. So yeah. before we get to the, the lockdown part, so you're just uploading, uploading in regards to the Straight Jacket podcast is you, is Nuruddin, it's Aaron. You're still continuing to go to games, still continuing to do fan yeah. cam, still continuing to just blow up, have great success. Was there any other viral moments <clears throat> where you go, hey, this is epic. We are onto something. You already mentioned the Newcastle one. Is there any other in particular favorites for you? Even if you didn't go viral, was there any fan camps you like out and go, oh, that was one of them ones I did. That was a hit, so to speak. Yeah, there, there was a couple like um, after Man City game where we got beat 3 0. I went on a mad one. Aston Villa game at home. You know what I'm saying? There was a couple like crazy ones in there um, where we just got. But we got beat up in it badly in it and just like I was just angry in it. So there was a couple of a couple of rants on there. Um even a couple of ones where Ollie's at the wheel one and that and we were all like, you know, singing Ollie's at the wheel and that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean it was crazy that times. Time, end, bro, interim like, Ollie was different. Yeah, interim Ollie was different, bro. I can't lie to you, people. Like, you had to be there. You had yep. to be there, bro. So like, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there you go. Year seven, first year eleven. Like there, there was situations there where like little certain little moments and clips where, you know what I mean? Like I was going viral for. So yeah, man. I think that time it was just like pure like fan cams and whatnot, and just like you know, building my profile up in it. You feel me? So yeah, man. It was it was a lot of lot of um, lot of content in that time, bro. And was there a certain number of subscribers you had hit on your own channel where you was like? Oh, the people are crossing over because at this time I know you won't yeah, know yeah. the exact number, but like say when you hit one thousand subscribers or two thousand or five thousand, was there a certain number yeah, 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 yeah. during this time period we're talking about? So from the start of your channel up until about twenty nineteen, like so up until the Straight Jacket podcast is up and running, was there a certain number that you hit and you was like, oh, I'm um, onto something? Yeah, five k when I reached ten k and that like there was certain moments like. Yeah, I remember from 5k to 10k, I remember it just went like rapid, like boom. Talk about like, it, man. Yeah, Talk that yeah big, man. Them big numbers. Yeah, like the the, 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 the the channel was growing massively. I remember like the, the podcast and just like generally like the feedback from everything and people were trying to search for my name, bro, like on, on YouTube. Yeah, but you know when you go on now, if you were to like check now, you can see like Saeed and then it'll just be like funny moments. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what are people searching you for? Yeah. And I was like, yo, these men are searching for, for some crazy shit, you know, like Saeed TV tears and that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, yo, are you ready to chill, you know? Like, why go on there? So like, yeah, man, this this, this what it was. And then obviously your channel's just growing in it and your, your channel's like building in it. You feel me? Like the vlogs are like doing bits, like me, like the match reactions are doing bits. Like everything's just like multiplying in numbers. You feel me? Like you're not getting 1K views, you're getting now 3, 4K. You know what I mean? So, like, things are just multiplying. So, that there was, like, something that I was like, yo, like, I'm, I'm just taking it seriously, you know? Like, let me now not... From from where I was uploading, like, once a week, I was uploading two, three. You know what I'm okay, saying, Okay, so when did the increase... Of, so, because of the numbers going up, you decided to increase yes. the content you was putting out. So, what were, yes. you, what were the other shows added at that point, if you remember? So, I would do, like, uh, Q&As. I would yeah. do, like, you know... Um, I remember I just did like a transfer videos and whatnot, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I would do like certain other things like, you know, just reacting to like 
storylines. I would do previews. I never thought of doing previews before, but I would do previews as well. You know what I mean? So, like, I was adding, there was a little bit of a roster going on, bro. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, there was a little bit of a roster. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like I needed that because, I mean, I wanted to have a purpose and I wanted to, like, build the Mm -hmm. engagement. You feel me? Like, not just having one video a week. I wanted to, like, build it so, like, people know I'm building, I mean, I'm consistent in it. You feel me? So, that was something that I enjoyed massively, like having that consistency and having that that know how that I was doing good content. You feel me? So yeah, man, that was something that I enjoyed, and yeah, just kind of growing and keeping on multiplying so it was about the content. Adding content you like you said, adding shows to the roster, and was there? Did you add any other content creators at this point, or was it just still yourself, Noradin, and Aaron? Was there anyone else? You Aaron, featured? yeah. Um, was it just you three? At that on the vlogs, on the vlogs, yeah. I was featuring like you know people that I I seen and whatnot. You know what I mean? In that aspect. Um, But other than that, I don't think so. You know what I'm saying to you? But yeah, it was just like literally anyone on the on the, on the the channel that I brought on and whatnot. And you know what I'm saying to you? So yeah, that was pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? At the start, it was just kind of like just getting my name out there. You feel me? Got you. Got you. I mean, and, you're, you're going, and you mentioned going from yeah. 5K to 10K quick and you're continuing to blow up. And before we continue, people, like I've said before on these on these specials, are like you not entertained? Run up the likes. There's over 340 people here. Right, 173 likes. Like check one two one two. Let's I'm get on. up to 250 likes, people. Make sure you continue to share this across all the socials. Follow Saeed across all his socials at that's me flawless. You see it right there on the screen at Sarcasm City TV on the screen. Subscribe to the channel Sarcasm City TV. Roll to 11k. We've already gone past 10,500 people. Gone past 10,600. Oh, and of course, make sure you subscribe to Saeed's channel. The links in the channel. I mean, the links in the title. Saeed TV. Roll to 100k for him, people. And let me just get to a couple of the super chats as well. I'm starring the best questions. Don't worry about that. Big up. I think it's Chow. Big up to you for the super chat. It says two of the best United content creators on the platform. Keep going, guys. Hey, big up, man. Much appreciated. Big up, Chow, big up to Rums as well. He says Flawless loves the line. Talk it, bro. Absolutely, man. I want people to talk their ish without doubt. Big up to Jay Socials, man, who's also a member of the channel. Link for the membership is in the pinned comment. It says Big up Saeed. Introducing Flawless, Noradin, Musa, and many more talents. Great hearing about the come up. Hey, big up to you. Jay. Ah, big up, up Jay. So he's he's been a, he's been around for a while. Jay socials on Jay my social, channel, like yeah, from yeah. the early days. Real yeah, I'm him and stack my bains, man. Stack my bains yeah. as well. I don't know if I'm telling the story, man. Yeah, Bains. I seen him on Saturday, by the way, man. Big up Bains, oh, really? man. He's alive and well. Saturday? Yeah, Bains. I don't know if you see my Instagram story, but yeah, he was he was on um, he was there, but he was shy. He didn't want to be on camera and that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. So, shout, shout, yeah, Bains. He was baby. there, man. Yeah, he commented on my one of my vlogs, like when I started the channel. You know, I remember, bro. He started yeah. one of my, one of my, one of my, one of my vlogs that I did early. I think it might have been Newcastle game where we won three two. He was there from early, man. So big up to Statman Baines, man, for real, for real. Yeah, shout out to Bainesy every single time. So at that point, like I said, your channel, you've gone now gone beyond ten k. You're now doing big numbers on a regular basis. Did you realize at this point that you are now a household name in the content creator space? Or are you just tunnel vision and focused? Um, uh, I would be lying if I didn't say like, yo, people like value my opinion in it. Like, you know what I mean? Like people were like talking about me. Like, I would be lying if I didn't say that because people were like in college and stuff like that, and you know, I mean, uni, and you know, I mean, just in general, like people were just talking about me in it. I mean, and seeing what I was doing in it, you feel me? So that was something that I enjoyed and like, you know, I mean, it was good to see, man, because obviously people see you in it in the barber shop and that, you go to the barber, you're getting your hair cut, Talk you know what I mean? But like sometimes, yeah, man, people, sometimes the TV would be on and people would upload their, their phone and I'd be like, yo, I'm subscribed to you, you know, I'm subscribed to you. Yeah. When you hear that gratification and you hear that, that, that love, you know what I mean? It's, that's when you know, rah, man, people are now talking about you in the streets. Yeah, in, in the yeah, local yeah. mosque, in the local, you know what I mean? Like the uncles are talking about you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Your dad tells you like, yo, people are saying that you do YouTube and that. Like my dad was like, he knew I was doing YouTube, but like he yeah. didn't he didn't take notice of it because he just thought it was a little bit of a hobby for me, innit? You know what I'm saying? Like, whereas, I mean, when he got serious, he was like, yo, hold on a minute. You're actually How doing something serious, like, yo, but coming, yeah. you're getting no yeah. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. I get you get that. You know what I mean? So like, he didn't, he didn't realize it would be, it would be like that, you know, you feel me? So obviously I was like, yeah, man, man's here, bro. Man's doing my thing. 
You know what I was there. So I that's when I was like, yeah, man, I'm 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 ready for this, man. I'm I'm looking forward to this. I'm enjoying this. And at this point, and, uh, yeah. Been- because you had mentioned AFTV, everyone knows AFTV. Shout out to Don Robbie, everyone who did bits over there and what they was building. Had, when did you first work with them? Oh, and was there anybody else? And it don't have to be on yeah. AFTV that you was worked with, and you was like, oh, they know me. Oh, that's yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. I'm doing my thing. Like, did you did that happen at any point? Um, I think yeah. To be honest with you, I think um. People, people did say that in that regards, like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, shout out to you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're paying homage, like, real, real homage. You know what I mean? And, and that's something that, you know, we kind of hit me, was like, yo, man, like, you got to take this serious even more now. You know what I mean, bro? Like, before it was like a little hobby and that, but like, I was like, yeah. yo, I can get some, you know what I mean? Like, you can earn revenue from it, bro. I started to see you getting monetized and that, you know what I mean? We'll you get can, to that in a second. Like, side we'll, hustle, get to the, we'll get side to the side hustle. hustle and the monetization, but do you remember like first working with AFTV or another big channel, like say working with Lewis, for example, for Chelsea Fan TV or yeah, 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 yeah. Chelsea at the time? Was there any moments like that? Camp. Like first working yeah, yeah, yeah. others? Yeah, 100%. Like, I did a fan camp for, for AFTV. I think we went to Emirates. We lost 2 0. Uh, I think even Rance was there. Large up Rance. Man. Rance. He was there. We got beat on New Year's Day or something like that. Um, mm. And then obviously there was little bits and bobs where you know you did stuff for Channel Four. There was this kind of show called Real Football Fans. You know, what I mean, and Robbie was part of it, and like, yeah, I mean, fans were kind of like merging together to talk about football. You know, what I mean, but like you could you could see like we were, we were networking. Like I remember Turkish was on there at the early years. That's why I said I, I knew Turkish before. Like he kind of knew everyone else. Yeah, you know what I mean, so Turkish. You know, troops and them, man, they were all there. You could see them in it, like, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Shout out to Claude, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, Claude every time. yeah, yeah, man, for real, for real. Like him, you know, Ty, you know what I mean? Like everyone, you just like link up with everyone, innit? You feel me? Even yeah. like, yeah, Carefree Lewis. To be fair, I, I think I remember like Carefree Lewis on 100% Chelsea, but I'm not mm. so sure. If I have to kind of like, like, you'd have to yeah. double check. That's fair. That's I have to fair. check what I actually like met him for the first time but i'm sure we linked up somewhere anyway and um yeah man you know, i mean always love to to care for lewis and you feel me but yeah man literally like that that there you kind of knew like rah man a man a serious on the map. All talking about the same thing feel me but i get that fully fully get that and you mentioned there already so we'll go to that monetization and obviously your, you mentioned your pops and in regards to him looking at it as a hobby and then like oh there's actually yeah. You're actually, this is more than a hobby. You're getting notoriety. There's actually a career potential here. So when did it click for you? What was the moment where you said, oh, monetization? Like, when, when did the financial side and aspect of it come to you? You know what? I feel like it was one of them where when you started to like, because obviously at the start, you're not earning that much where, you know what I mean? Like, it was like pocket change, isn't it? Yeah. When you started to like see that you could reinvest, that's when I knew like, right. Man, man's making a bit of pee on here when yeah. you can reinvest into like mics lighting oh, equipment you know what I mean like I bought my first laptop from my YouTube you know what I'm saying yeah. to like I bought a MacBook Pro before I was using something else like you know what I mean you reinvest into certain things like the mics just in general innit you feel me like I felt like that's when you were like yeah man like are you yo listen this is this is decent it wasn't like any kind of profit kind of thing. It was more so I wanted to reinvest into the channel. Into, into you know channel I mean? to then like, make invest the into the channel to make the content better. Got you. Got you. Yeah. 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 You get a graphic designer. Yeah. You know I mean, I still have him till this day, man. Shout out to Danny. If you're watching, you know what I'm saying? To like just 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 like you know, building that, you know what I mean? You know, just building everything that I needed to build in it. You know what I'm saying? To that like I felt like that was key for me at the start. Like just putting everything back into the channel, making it more grow and, and glowing it up and that and just you know adding bits and bobs you know what i mean and pay for stream yard you know what i mean like, certain things like that you feel me like yeah that's, we're that's gonna get to all that so then you decided like okay the monetization and that's very very smart of you to go rather than just spend the money the money i'm making let me reinvest actually into the channel on equipment on the look of the yeah. channel on like you said thumbnails on the graphics etc etc so again you're blowing up at this point clear you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Stage, you're fully on the map in the content creator space. 
what was yeah. this what was then the decision that made you go all right i'm leaving united stand because when you've left united stand the channel's on a high everyone else is there rants aaron nora did adam match the list can go on everybody's on that ultimate high like i say that lineup we've never seen but at that time i don't think in regards to depth and i don't think we'll ever see again what made you go all right i'm gonna leave and was it a quick decision or was it long term? Obviously, I know Rance was the first to leave. Was it seeing him leave? Yeah. Talk us through that whole process of from the first four, everything that happened up until leaving. Yeah, no, 100%. Obviously, it was lockdown, isn't it? So when I left, it was lockdown, similar to Rance, similar to other people that were on the channel, innit? You feel me? Mm -hmm. And it was one of them where I said to myself, yeah, my man wasn't really kind of communicating well. You know what I mean? Yeah. As to what he was trying to do. And for us, I was like, lockdown, boy, I might as well just take this to the next level, you know? I, I wasn't even really like, like, Rance had his own opinion and whatnot. But at the same yeah. time, I was like, also hurt by the fact that the way he was dealt with as well and the way he kind of like, like, what was said about him. And I was like, nah, man. Oh, what was said about what, what, day, what he was saying about Rance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, him, okay, him, I him, left, okay, okay. And just in general as well, like yeah. the whole discourse as to why he left in it. But Rance, Rance left, wanted to leave on his own accord anyway. Film it and do his own thing because he he was big before you know. That if people know about Rance, like hey, he go check like, Rance's oh, special he people. He he spoke Rance, in depth yeah. about everything he did. Shout out to Rance, man. Salute to Rance every single time. Yeah, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Man was big before then, bro. Like he was doing yeah. his thing, BBC. You know what I mean? I think it's Vice and that. Yeah, like, I used to be on, like, on like, like, yeah, the whole night. Yeah. yeah, bro. So he was doing his thing, bro. So at the end of the day, it wasn't a situation where he needed them, really, feel me? Like, he, he had his own thing. He was already, like, you know, verified and whatnot. Like, he was, he was doing his thing. But for me, I just thought to myself, you know what? Like, I just need to kind of move on for my own benefit. Because I thought, rah, man's not really paying us. He's not yeah. really... You know what I mean? We grew the channel to a certain... You, you know might I mean? blow up that channel. Yeah. Ridiculously blew up yeah. that channel. For real. And sometimes, yeah, in life, yeah, you can actually be something or you can be part of something. You know what I'm Ooh, saying? I always say that bar again. Hold up. You, you preach it. Yeah, yeah, say yeah. that bar again, family. That's one of them ones. Say that again. Yeah, you can either be something or you can be part of something. You feel me? Yeah. And if it's di it's different isn't it when you got like i'm part of the big six here but we're all a family isn't it? you know what I mean? it's different like that you know what we i'm saying that we're that all people as well. we brothers. don't talk about big six yeah yeah 100 percent. we're all brothers in it but with this one it was one of them where like, like i just felt to myself like yo man could just build my own thing and i believe amicably and to be honest with you i left amicably i didn't really have no beef with nobody i didn't really like you know what i mean it wasn't a situation where other other people did this i was just like yo i'm leaving you get me he said, cool, we part ways. And yeah, I grew, I decided, you know what, I'm going to focus on my channel. And lo and behold, you know what I'm saying? It was the best decision I've ever made because I wouldn't be where I am today I if agree. I didn't move at that time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? So, if you don't take the risk, you won't see the reward. You won't. So obviously, Rance has left before you. Everyone else is still there. You're looking at it going, not really being paid, not really being compensated. We blew up this channel. You don't like what's been yeah. said about Rance after he's left. Did you have any conversations with anybody else in regards to leaving? So did you, obviously you and Noradin, you and Aaron are close. You're still shooting the Straight Jacket podcast. Was there any conversation between you three? Or did you have a conversation with anybody else? Maybe a flex in regards to, I'm leaving, this is why. Or did you just make the decision? Nah, I just made my decision because I was like, yo, like everyone's got their own journey in it. You feel me? I didn't want to say to other people like, yo, like you got to move with me. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, come on, man. Like, that's not me. I'm not selfish in it. Like, yeah. everyone makes their own decisions in life. I was like, cool, I'm doing me, and I'm leaving on my own accord. You feel me? So yeah. it was my decision as to why I was leaving. It wasn't a situation of, yo, like, man felt like, yo, like, people were taking a piss and that. And now I was like, yo, you do you, I'll do me. Just keep it like that, bro. Like, that's just yeah. the way it kind of is for me. So I felt like that was my kind of take on it. Um but yeah, literally, I just did it on my own accord and I wanted to just build my own thing because it was locked down, innit? And that was like, yo, like... This is 2019 no... at this point, correct? Nah, 2020. 2020, 2020. 2020. Okay, 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 okay. First, first, first. It was, I believe, in the summer. Summer of 2020. Okay. Yeah. Summer of 2020. That was when, like, yo, like, 
lockdown. You know what I mean? Like, it was one of them where football had just restarted as well. Remember, we had the project restart. Yes, yes, And it was yes, one yes. of them where I was like, yo, like, I'm going to just, yeah, I'm just going to do my thing, you know, you feel me? And that was it, bro. I just decided to do my thing, build everything up, and yeah, go go from it from, from that point of view, bro. No, that, saying, that's bro. That, 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 that makes sense. And you decided to, to build then your own channel because your own channel is already crazy in terms of numbers anyway. So that's already yeah. there. And what was so? Let me ask you this because obviously you've come from you, one of the OGs, you one of the pioneers kicking down doors in this. And you've gone from you're doing fan cams, you're doing vlogs, everything's pre recorded. Now we've gone into lockdown. Was you like, all right, I'm going to change my approach because you can't go to games? Or yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, I'm just still going to do the straight jacket podcast, for example, still pre upload. Basically, what was the switch like going from uh, before lockdown? To in lockdown what was that like for you yeah yeah 100 percent. like i i ended up doing more live content more interactional stuff yeah i mean i was doing live streams for my garden bro because obviously it was summertime and that mm -hmm. yeah you know i mean bro like and at that time Streamyard had not been processed i was doing it straight from like youtube you know what i mean so youtube I really and zoom them time times it was because we're going to get into the stream yard thing yeah. yeah 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 so it was like I was doing it Zoom, but then YouTube would allow you to go live. But you, I don't, I don't know if you could pull the comments up and, and click on it. That was the only yeah, issue. Tough. Going live on YouTube was, was very, very before StreamYard was extremely tough. Yes, I remember trying very to do it. Extremely tough. Like, it's, yeah, this is, bro. This you know what I'm saying? So it was one of them where I ended up just like, you know what, thinking of ideas and content. And obviously, that's when Rant shouted me. was like, yo, do you want to jump on my watch alongs? I was like, yeah, cool, bro. Let's do it. And obviously, our watch alongs were going viral. People bro. asking about him. Talk about the watch alongs. Did you expect that bro. to have the impact they had? Oh, the whole Spud BG, Spud BG, etc. etc. Spud BG, etc. etc. Bro, listen, I didn't expect it at all, man. I'll be real with you. I just like, yo, like me and Rance are just, you know, what I mean, we were just being us, bro. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, we were just being us, but yo, watching United together, man, it's crazy, bro. Because I was mm. you're indoors, isn't it? You're indoors. You know what I mean? Like, they like, can't really go out and that. Uh, and obviously, football without sound as well, bro. There was no sound on yeah, football. Yeah, no man. sound. You can't say, yeah, 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 no yeah. No sound, yeah, man. Be. So basically, you know what I mean? Normally, you know what I mean? The commentator can make you feel a certain narrative. And he can build his own narrative. So you're like, yeah, my United are, are building momentum and that. You know what I'm saying? Where's this? The ghost comes out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying, bro? So oh, it was yeah, one of them, man. I fully understand. Yeah, bro. And like I said, bro, I had the I had the jam and that, you know what I'm saying? Just, I was all over the place at them times. You get me? So yeah, my me and Rance, obviously you got the Twan Zavi moment, Sheffield United, you've got the Spud Me G moment, you've got, you know what I mean? There's there's other ones there, man. Like, you know, there's other ones that like like I said to you, bro, that are just like legendary, me and him, man. Obviously, Red Talk after with me, you, Aaron. Hey, we, we don't get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're, we're skipping those steps. Sorry, I have to cut you off for that because we 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 yeah, telling yeah, yeah. the full the, the full story before you even get to that. So obviously you're in lockdown. And what I also want to ask is, what was the transition like? Because Streamyard comes about. What was the transition like from pre-uploading to then doing live streams? What was the what was, yeah, was what was job. that like? And would you? What's the word? I'm it was a bit nervous, it. though. I can't lie. It was a bit. It was yeah, a that's what I was going to say. Was you nervous because it's different? Because you're now not no longer with the camera, talking into the camera, then uploading, then getting the oh, response. Yeah, Chris, it's now interactive. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Grizz as well. He says, yeah, yeah. He says, my dogs. Hey, big up to Grizz, man. Football kind. We're trying to pattern one for Grizz as well, people. I'm going to shout Grizz after this because we, we need to sort out um the time. So big up to Grizz each and every time. Make sure you lot go subscribe to Grizz. For those, yeah, for those that don't know, he's done a special pre previously on here as well check out the playlist so yeah what was that like in regards to the transition from pre-upload to now you're doing live yeah, streams yeah, it's on different. yeah it's, it's different because it. you gotta remember it's one of them where you know what i mean pre-recorded yeah you can you can say what you want to say you can take as many takes as you want to take like even though i didn't really take like, like i didn't i rarely took two takes i just said things in one take right. but your live stream, you. you know what I mean? You got to get your fact checks. You got me and me got to do certain things. You know what I mean? You might get cancelled and that. You know what I mean? You don't know in it. Like, anything can happen in it. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I was in my family. I was in my gaff at the time. Family mm -hmm. gaff. So it was one of them where I was live streaming the gaff. Obviously, I got a big family and that. It's yeah. difficult, isn't it? You get me? Like, 
You know what I mean? Brother around the corner might say something wild than that. Because you, know I mean? like, you know it's like, isn't it? Remember the cussing people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Hey, 100%. You know I mean? 100%. Yes. Yeah, man. It's one of them where, you know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, it's difficult. But I, I adapted to it, man. I adapted to it. You know what I'm saying? To I got got the, got it well. Got the, the transition right. And yeah, my man just grew. Just keep growing in that kind of way. And I what enjoyed it. Like? Did I you want to change videos. Did you have any further ideas? You was like, all right, since you live stream and once you've done live stream, because it's trial and error, you was like, okay, certain shows I can now do. Did you have any new ideas in regards to live stream? Or was it still like, you're obviously you're doing the straight jacket podcast pre-uploaded, yeah. I mean, pre-recorded and uploading, and now you're doing that live. Was there any other ideas that came to you? It was like, all right, this will work. Um, Yeah, there was a few things like calling show. Um yeah. That was something that I, I I managed to get up and running. Um, different shows, different you know what I mean segments, introducing you know what I mean um, non Man United content on there. You know what I'm saying too. So that was the and first then, time you yeah. done non Manchester United content at that point. Okay, and yeah. are you still is the channel still called United Central at this point? Oh, you made the switch right. yet? Yeah. The, 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 the switch was the switch came after. I will right, we'll get yeah, to that. Point, yeah, we'll get to that. Go on, carry on, carry on. and then yeah, that's when I started to say, Yo, man needs to just figure out, yo, that I'm not just about United only. You know what I'm saying? So what, was the, what was the idea in regards to then getting non man because it had been all Manchester United? What was the idea in getting non Manchester United content creators and non Manchester United content on there, like other teams? Yeah, because I just felt like you know, you were just kind of like it's the word I'm looking for, like where you just put yourself in a little in box, a box. Silly, you know what I mean? Yeah, you put yourself in a box, innit? So I thought to myself, you, if you want to expand, gain more subscribers and just, like, gain more interaction and build new communities and whatnot, you got to just build it around United, innit? Because at the time, it was it was saturated, innit? You know, not, everyone was doing United content. You know what I mean, and I wasn't a fan channel. I was me. You feel me? Oh, so right. I changed my mindset. I'm not a fan channel. I'm not United Central. I'm Saeed, innit? So Fact. I called myself Saeed TV. And like I said, that was amazing, bro. Like, remember that came about in 2000, in 2021. And like, I said to myself, yeah, man, best decision I made. You know brand what I'm saying? Change. Yeah. Yeah, brand change. You know what I mean? Everything changed. New picks, new everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to work now. You know what I'm saying? And what was it like? Because lockdown, everybody's seen a boom. Because even lockdown, like I said, that's when I initially started and that's helped me so much. What was it like for you? Because obviously you're not outside, but lockdown, everybody's numbers seem to grow. So did you see a huge difference in the growth of your channel and your individual brand at that point? Listen, I don't mind another lockdown. I'm not going to lie to you, but if there was another (laughs) lockdown now, I would embrace it. I don't know what people are saying in the chat, but I would embrace another lockdown, man, because that would mean, you know, saying like your channel grows even more, man, because I've erode you. Um, people were on it, bro. People were loving YouTube at that time, bro. Like, yeah. YouTube, like, nobody was watching TV, bro. Like, let's be honest, man. No one ain't watching TV now, but yeah, I get your Stenders point. Stenders ran out of storylines. Stenders ran out of storylines. <laughs> Remember, we're doing it once a week and that because they couldn't film. You know what I'm saying to you? So, yeah, I mean, 100% I would, because at the end of the day, yeah, like football is ba- played on TV. Like we don't need to be outside. You just need to have your laptop. And you know what I'm saying? Like you need to just, you know, yeah. you in it, like be in it. Yeah. So at the end of the day, like, you know, I feel like in that time, that's where my channel grew the most. You know what I mean? I, mean, I think for me, my channel, like, channel grew in lockdown. Yeah. I think it grew for yeah. everyone. Like I think Rance yes. will tell you the same, like everyone's Rance channel grew. Thing massively in lockdown because like people were taking like more more attention to like content and whatnot and like people were just like yo man i want to hear from my man i want to hear from flawless i want to hear from Said. i want to hear from i want to hear from everyone bro you know what i'm saying yeah. to you so yeah man i feel like for me it's one of them where it's um uh oh, man was funny say working on a new virus you know you're crazy yeah man so, like, yeah, but like I said, I think that was I, I think that was the most like like in satisfaction I got, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um because obviously the straight jacket podcast, if you know, like we do we would do the podcast, but we'd make sure like you know, hand hand gel and that and we we're talking about like <laughs> funny stuff and that and like just like lockdown stories and that, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't go here, you can't go there, you can only meet one person in one gaff. You know what I mean? So like it was funny, man. It was funny. 
But just in general, like, you know what I mean? Like, I think lockdown just, just elevated everyone's channels, bro, because there was nothing else to watch, mm -hmm. you know? Everybody's inside, so everybody's looking for content to watch because everybody's indoors. Like everybody's been sent to the yeah. room by the universe because we was fucking up. So lockdown, you've seen your growth even more. And do you remember during lockdown, like the first big milestone you hit? Um, you know what? Big up to Rance anyway, because obviously he helped me in that regards, man. I'll always say that to him. But I think I reached thirty k in lockdown. I think the start of, was it summer of twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah, it must have been summer twenty twenty one. Yeah, I hit thirty k. And that's what I knew. I wanted to take it full time. You know what I'm saying? Well, that was the idea. So you're still not full time at this point. But when you nope. hit 30k during lockdown, you're like, all right, full time. That yeah. must have been such a blessing where you're like, okay, this is now a full career. Yeah. Full career. I thought, you know what? I'm going to take the risk. Even though I was getting paid more as a teacher and that and whatnot. I said, yo, I think it was it May 2021. Mm. I told my um my head teacher obviously the head of year from yeah. primary where i was working and i said to him yo i'm gonna quit everyone was shocked Everyone was like what you're one of our best workers and that yo you can't leave the kids because i said i was working in special needs kids isn't it? special needs oh. school so yeah. it's difficult to leave kids like yeah, mid-season yeah. you feel me like you can't yeah. just leave them then right. they get attached to it right. you know what i mean so but i was like yo a lockdown made me like open my eyes up in it like you know what I'm saying to like just in general, I, I did a lot of thinking in lockdown, a lot of totally. planning. I was like, yo, if I take a hit now, we're still technically in lockdown because I think that's that summer, I think we were in lockdown, you know, May, April time, we we're in like some sort of yeah. lockdown. And yeah, I thought, let me just take the hit now. I saved a little bit of money. I thought, mm -hmm. you know what, let me just see where I go on. Did the euro, remember the euros that summer? Did the yeah, euro. Yeah. Yours, yeah, yeah. Um, did all the content there and then I started to then say right I'm going to build shows I'm going to build like you know what I need to build do Sai TV. And then, yeah Sai TV I'm going to organise everything and then just kind of go from there so I thought to myself yo right there is what I need so that's what I did I just took the risk got my, my money said you know what if I take one year I'm going to see how it goes for one year I said to my, my school was like, yo, whenever you want to come back, they said, come back. You know what I'm saying? They still probably oh, want me back right now, but like okay. they, they were like, yo, whenever you need to come back, your, your space back. is still there. You yeah, feel me? Them for that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that helped as well because then it was like almost like a, a gap year, innit? Take the risk. You feel me? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. That's why yeah. I was like, yo, like, you know what I mean? It was one of them. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Big up to young, young, young Liz Scott. Hundred percent, man. Yeah, Liz Scott. Like, yeah, shout out to Rantel. Rantel. Yeah, Rantel, yeah, Rantel, 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 Rantel. I understand humor, innit? I understand his humor, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah, yeah. yeah, percent. We know there's no malice in what he's saying. Before we continue, though, people now over four hundred and twenty people in here. We're oh, only man. at 265 likes. Like, check, one, two, one, two. Nah, like, check, one, man. two, one, two. Let's get up to 350, people. Let's get to 350. Make sure you subscribe to Saeed's channel. The link is in the title because we're getting a backstory and we haven't quite finished just yet. So make sure you subscribe to his channel again, Saeed TV. Link's in the title. Oh, make man. sure you subscribe to the Sarcasm City TV YouTube as well. Currently, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're at 10,640 for subscribers people give us yo just six Come more get us to 10,650 i'm only asking for six more subs people i'm only asking for six more subs and there's over 420 people in here we can get that that's Come what on. we can do so subscriber check as well so boom lockdown you're doing a mazo you've managed to get to the point where yep. you're, con you're going viral the numbers across all platforms is going up you've now rebranded to Sai tv you've managed to make it a full time thing Big Six, how did that come about? What was the call like? You you mentioned just earlier that you'd already knew um, Turkish. Did you have any input on who the other panelists were? Or did you find out alongside everybody else? Talk to us about that whole process in regards to the beginning of the Big um, Six. So me, me and Turkish knew each other, like I said beforehand. Yeah. Turkish messaged me and said, yo, I'm going to start this show, Big Six, yeah. I think he already had his own Big Six thing going on but he felt like it wasn't the right energy or he wanted to just basically elevate in it to a whole new level in it you feel me yeah. so i was like cool 
I'm I'm happily involved because at the time man was man was at home, bro. Like I was just active, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, really yeah, have anything exactly. to do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I mean. at that time I was like, Yeah, man, do your thing, you know what I mean, and get whoever you want to get. I didn't really know anyone else. Listen, I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know Grizz, I didn't know Toby. Matisse, I knew of on Twitter. He was kind of going viral and that, but like I said, I didn't really like have first hand, you know what I mean? Like we didn't message each other first hand. Um, Big Steve, I actually didn't know of, you know what I mean? Funny enough, I didn't know of him. Um, and then, yeah, only knew Turkish because of AFTV. Like that was right. it. And Thank then, you. yeah, literally, we built it. Um, six people, six different clubs. Okay, so as so before you get to, to, to continue on, so he shouts you for the show. Obviously, he had done it, but he didn't like the vibes of it. He invites yourself, the rest of the panelists there. From the first show, did you know that it was going to be a hit? Like, did you realize this chemistry is on point? Turkish has yeah. got the panelists spot on, or was yeah, it a yeah, while yeah. after? Was it the second episode? Was it 10 episodes in? Was it when you went viral or hit a certain amount of numbers? When did the penny drop where you said, Oh, we are onto this is gold, this is platinum, not even gold? You know what it was? At the start, obviously, everyone's trying to feel each other out. So it kind of yeah. was a bit of a slow burner, don't get me wrong. But when people started getting comfortable with each other, and yeah. Grace got comfortable with me, I then started to, you know, everyone started to make some mad takes and that. I felt like that's when it started to kind of like, yo, like, like I lost a big game or City lost their game or whoever in it. So it needed that, you feel me, to kind of get it to that level. Mm. So... I feel like it was it was a slow burner for the first like couple of episodes, but then when it started to kick, it then kicked. You feel me? Like that's when it was like, yo, we got something right here. You feel me? So yeah, man, I, I think it was a slow burner, but then when we got there, bro, it started clicking, numbers went up, everything went up. Yeah, you know I mean, we started to just, you know what I mean, elevate, you know what I mean, and whatnot. So yeah, man, large up Turkish for, for assembling that that cast because Broski. Yes. If you know what I mean, sometimes you get it wrong, but he got it spot on, like right. spot on, right. spot on. So you've seen the numbers then go up. You've continued to go clear, and did you see it becoming the biggest, the most watched show in the space? Because you are doing regularly seven, eight, oh. nine, ten k watches live, concurrent viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't expect it. I'm, I'll be honest with you. I didn't expect it to be that massive because obviously you kind of say to yourself like yo like you know will people like our personalities in it will people like you know the way we are you know i mean we're all from different backgrounds and that we're not really meant to be doing this you know what i'm saying to like we're just all fans in the end of the day yeah. it's a one in a million kind of thing but luckily people came back for more people wanted more people wanted extra shows you know what i mean like they were just like they were hungry for it, bro. They were like, yo, like, we want this. We need this. You feel me? Like, we need more of this. You and, know? Yeah. They did. And that's and that's testament to you and you as a character. And that's why this show's all about giving you your flowers because you're a huge part of that show. I say you're a fan favorite. And like, people always look forward to hearing from you, whether it's Manchester United fans or whether it's yeah. rival fans. And like you said, you already mentioned you and Grits, like on that show, for example. The back and forth yeah. and, and and the relationship that you and Chris yeah, have is man. genuine. That like United, even guy, a man. smile on your face, like tells you all you need to know about the you the you yeah, and, and Grizz dy dynamic. Do you remember when that became a thing on the show with you and Grizz, where you're like, what? oh yeah, like the chemistry working between us? But you know, I think he must have said something. He 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 must have said something definitely, or I said yeah. something where you know what I mean, like we just kind of like clicked in it. You feel me? But like I've always had people like Grizz, like around me in the community and that, or like I grew up with, or like you know, we just banter in it. You know, what I'm saying yeah. to like it was one of them. But also, luckily, I grew up in a, I went to an Asian school, in yeah. Abraham Moss in Cheetah Mill, so okay. I kind of knew like Pakistani banter and that, and like you oh, know, Asian that, and them from a cultural standpoint. Yeah, 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 yeah. cultural standpoint. Like I, I, I used to get their banter in it because obviously I went to a predominantly Asian school. So I I got the banter in it, so you know what I mean? When he say funny things and that, I just like, yeah, man. Grizz, you know, funny guy, man. Funny guy. And, I mean, <laughs> Uncle Grizz, you know what I was there? And obviously, Jazz, he started Grizz. saying, yeah, little Tim, shush, and all of that. And like, you know, the stuff like that, like, you know what I mean? Back and forth, like, it's harmless, in it? But at the same time, it's genuine, like, like connection, in it, you feel me? Yeah. So, 
Yeah, man. Grizz is a funny guy, man. Like Grizz, call him the community man, man. He's just he's a funny guy, bro. Funny guy. And then when did you realize? So it's ascending. The show is going nuts. Mm. Do you remember the first viral moment from the show? Or actually, outside of that, the first time you, I don't know if it's a certain number you hit, very similar to the question I asked, a certain number you hit, certain amount of yeah. views certain amount of views overall after the live where you go oh damn we are it this is it yeah you know what i think it's when um we hit the 100k show i think that was probably the one or when we got like 10k live in the building Woo! oh we got Talk them numbers. yeah bro like yeah 10k live and that's when we thought right like the numbers were mad or we got like double figures you know mm. what I mean for 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 you know for shows and you know the, the the people were just talking about it, bro. Like Twitter, everywhere, social media. I did skull fuggery into that. You know what I mean? Like he came on board because he wasn't there at the start. People don't realize that he wasn't there at the start. Okay, so he came on board. Was late, it was a later later addition to the show. Yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. He came in. You know what I mean? And then whatnot, and then started doing a few samples and that and whatnot, and then. I was like, yo, what's this guy on you? Like, man is like man is checking a piss out of me here. What's going on here? And obviously for the brand, it was it was perfect. Like skull fuggery, like coming here and doing that for the brand, I felt like it was perfect because it's like it was banter, it was entertainment, but you kind of like if you said something, you were held accountable for it. You feel me? Yeah. And it just it just kind of like it warmed the show up nicely. Before the show starts, you get to see the the the, the madness, you feel me? So yeah, man, I feel like it's one of them where that that happened, and like you know what I mean, like you get to your hundred k show, and then yeah, bro, like you just you just start becoming like like serious, isn't it? You feel me? Yeah, it just becomes like proper serious, and it as as it did, and that show, and then what was it? I was gonna ask after that. Then so once you hit hundred k, is that when you then also realize like, oh, we're solidified. We one of the best shows out here. Yeah. Like we are, like, we are it. Like we are a mainstay in this space. The same way we speak about like pioneers and people on Mount Rushmore. In regards to shows, that's a Mount Rushmore show. That's one of those ones. That's a classic. Like if Big Six stopped tomorrow, everyone would be like, "Remember Big Six? Remember what they did?" Etc. Yeah. Look at everything they did. Look at the characters. Yeah, the yeah. That's the key word. I want to say, what was it like getting the call? about going stateside on Fox News because I'm presuming it was Turkish who got the call. Oh, what massive. was that like for you when he said, yeah, we get, we going stateside, we're going on Fox News, meet and greet the whole night? It was magic yeah, because we did it, we did it like a, a, they wanted us to do a segment on the World Cup beforehand and then that yeah. got aired on Fox News but then obviously that got mad feedback and yeah. then they were like, yo, you guys got to come to America. You know I'm saying we want to personally invite you to New York to our studio and then you get um you get interviewed and you just basically we take you around New York City, you check out the culture, you know what I mean? Like they did a whole like show on Times Square where basically the cameras are around us and like it was lit, man. I can't lie. Like getting getting walked around with, with proper news crew, Fox News crew. Oh, that's nice. mad when you deep it, bro. Like something that's unimaginable. You know what I mean? Going to New York anyway should be someone's dream, but having like, you know what I mean, like, you know film crew like walk around with you that's something special bro so yeah man i i, I think that that was like one of them wild moments like yo like for real for real like okay you know what i mean like that that's that solidifies us like yo we are now not only just youtubers but we can we're, we're hitting the mainstream as well talk you about it man. talk we're about it. The mainstream. we're hitting you know fox news People in America are knowing about we're, we're hitting a global scale, even though we were probably global anyway. But I feel like you know, Fox News has kind of elevated us like, you on the global scale uh, on the global yeah, scale. Well. Yeah, solidified us. Like, yo, you man are serious, bro. Like, large up to you guys, innit? You feel me? So yeah. that's where I was like, yo, man, nah, that was amazing, man. That was that's amazing. Great. And we were talking about it before the show. What was the meet and greet you did just like in London? And is there any future plans to do more as well? Yeah, the meet and greet in London was crazy, man. Oh, Shout out everybody who was there, man. For real, man. We did it in uh, East London. You get me? Uh, under like some kind of like, uh, it was like a proper urban scene. You got yeah. like graffiti in the background, under yeah. a bridge. 
You know what I'm saying to like it's it was wild, man. And we had about 80 people there, man, which is crazy numbers considering we only put the poster out Wednesday, Thursday, and obviously we met up on Friday. Like it was mad. The the, the love we got, the people who joined, like that was something that we've never done before. Street debates, you know what I mean? So that was something that we anticipated would, would be a very, very big one. So yeah, but I can't wait for you not to see the video. But it was, it was sick day, much lots of love and that, and yeah, but just like pure, like yo, like we're, we're trying to involve the community as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, love that man. Like I said, I seen it and I was like, oh yeah, 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 big six again kicking down. And is there any plans to do any more of them, or was it just a one-off thing? Yeah, hundred percent. There's gonna be one in Mali. So me, flawless, gonna be there, Nurdin. Yeah, pull know, up people. Be here, Manchester. So we're going to be here. So if anyone's down or can come down, yeah, I mean, we had a guy from Toronto there. We had a guy from America Jeez. there. There was a couple of people who actually flew down to the debate. You know what I mean? It was just crazy. You know what I mean? Definitely. So, yeah, if you guys can come, it'd be amazing. And, yeah, just to debate and that. And, yeah, just like, you know, just, you know, I think that would be amazing as well, just to kind of like have a money one as well. I mean, because London... Well. Hopefully the weather's decent as well. But, yeah, 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 hundred percent. Hopefully, get that in the summer and that. So, yeah, man, for real, for real. No, nah, for real, like one hundred. And I'm sure there'll be more as well to email in the comments. I'm sure since the success, yeah, of yeah, that there'll one, be another one in London. There'll be another there'll be one, in another one in London. There'll be one in Manchester yeah. as well, like Saeed mentioned. So, I'm sure Big Six are yeah. going to continue. And when we get, and has there been any talks about it? Because there needs to be Big Six live show. What are we doing? When's the when's yeah, the live that, show happening? I'm, I'm pressing for. You know, I'm mean, man's pressing it. Pressing it, you know what I'm saying to you, like Kante, man. We're trying to do it. We're trying to get that sorted out. You know what I mean? Someone said there the merch. That's something yeah, that's the coming as well. Merch on his way. That's all. That's on his way. Okay, yeah. so it's about time. It's about yeah. time. That 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 there's coming. Just in general, like more things are on its way. Mm. You get me more. You know what I mean? More events, more networking, yeah. fan link cups. You know what I mean? Like there's gonna be like plenty of stuff, man. You get me? Like we're we're here for a for a, for a, for a long time, not a good time. You feel me? So. Fact. They That's... both a long time, a good time for a long time. And, yeah, yeah, both for a long, great time for a long time. That's that's what it is because you lot are gonna yeah, continue to send, and even yourself from an individual standpoint, roll to a hundred k, a part of big six, your channel blowing up, you as an individual brand, um, blowing up. What are your future plans in regards from an individual brand standpoint and your channel yeah, yeah, standpoint yeah. as well? So, ETV for me, hundred k, obviously. That's going to be one thing coming. I've got my new channel coming as well that I'm going to be doing non-football stuff on there. So like challenges, Ooh. cooking, stuff like that. So that'll be coming, I think, maybe April, May time. That'll be coming as well. Um, and yeah, more elevation. I'm, I'm moving into my new uh, house, which is going to be having a fresh new studio in there. So Talking. hopefully we can get some guests on there. You know what I mean? So Shout me, that's you know, gonna I'm be there. You that. need me. Shout yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%, man. So get some guests on there. You know what I mean? Like, just keep elevating, man. Keep growing. But also just keep him being me in it. Like, nothing's going to change in terms of my part. Like, I'm not going to change as a person. Like, I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm just going to keep elevating, keep growing, and building a community, man. So just keeping that authenticity, keeping that all, that, 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 that's the same, you know, that feeling and whatnot. And yeah, man, just because you know what it is with the football space? It will never die out, man. I see the YouTube music in terms of reaction space. That's died out. I don't know if you've seen it. FIFA. Oh, no. You know what I mean? Like, there's okay. people with millions of subscribers, yeah? My little brother was showing me yesterday, and they've just, like, crashed because, obviously, FIFA's kind of gone downhill. But you see mm. this football YouTube space? It's just going to keep growing and growing. This is why I say to people who have got channels now, bro, keep growing. Grow now. Because at the end of the day, it's a timeless, um, you know, um, like this space, advice. yeah, 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 100%. It's timeless, bro. Like, you know, football's gonna always be there. It's just whether you can keep your community, keep building, and be consistent. As long as you stay consistent, ain't nobody gonna really go away. You know, what I mean, let's be honest, like, you ain't gonna really go away, disappear. Because while football's there, <laughs> there's no there's no option not to go and see what Florence has said or what Saeed TV has said. Like, you know, you know, what I'm saying to you. So, end of the day, I feel like for me, it's one of them where. You know, just keep growing and yeah, just keep elevating and keep being me. That's what I want to do. Like, you know, the sky's the limit, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? 
Yeah, man, the, the sky is definitely the limit. And is there, and so you said April, you're looking at April. So basically, next month to start your uh, yeah. a new channel, which what is going to be non football. One I can't gets better, that's when I'm going to be out and about. And yeah, man, I appreciate it, man. And yeah, just out and about and just growing and just keeping on that momentum and that. And just, you know what I'm saying? Like, do what yeah, I, I need that. to do. You feel me? Nah, I love that 110%. And is there anything in regards to fantastic backstory? I already knew it was going to be great. We've missed any key events, any people you've met over the time that you're like, oh, I remember yeah. such and such, having a conversation. Like, even you, bro, I, I forgot a bit about you, like, met you on the uh, Pi Radio, man. You know what I mean? I think Aaron, it was like, Aaron. when I met Flawless, Aaron was doing, uh, Flawless was doing Pi Radio. We yes. met on that football podcast with Stro and JV. Shout out to them always. Shout out JV and Stro every time, man. Every JV, time. 100%. You know what I mean? So we, me and Flawless linked up through that year and then we yes. ended up doing shows and there then that's when i was like yo flawless you know do you want to jump on my channel vice versa we started to network etc yes. so that was amazing as well you know what i'm saying to obviously Nuruddin, everyone in the journey that was there miles rance mm -hmm. obviously like expressions james redmond you know what i mean just everyone in the link up until now in it until now you know what i'm saying to you until this day you know what i mean there's so many people that i've met big up roms in the chat you know, I'm big up in, the, in the comments, you know, certain comments in here that, bro, they've been here since day one, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah. bro? Like, Eddie, everyone, man, like, yeah, you know, the Eddie, community man. don't die, man. The community don't nope. die, you know what I'm saying? The community just keeps elevating. Like, I just find it crazy that people continue to watch us no matter what time of the day, no matter what hour, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Like, rain, snow, whatever's going on, these men just keep doing, like, showing up. Obviously, I show up, which is amazing. But you yeah, guys, work like impeccable, no bro. You. Yeah, these people are here. There's yeah. no me. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, if there's no them, there's no me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's something that I find amazing as well. So, yeah, man, like, everyone has just been part of the journey, bro. Like, you know, and, and helped me be who I am in it. And like I said, the, the risks, the, the successes and whatnot, like, it's all, it's all there, man. Like, if you believe in yourself, you can do it. Like, I, I should never... Have been in a situation, but what happens is you get me, it's your hard work and your dedication will take it to that next level. You get me? And if you don't have that, you know what I mean, you're not gonna go far, bro, because you can't just have this divine right to be this 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 person that's put on a pedestal or whatever. Like yeah. you can't, bro. You have to put the work in. If you don't put the work in, you don't see the result. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just you're don't right. see it. And that's one of the things everybody who's done these specials has said, and you mentioned it, work rate. I was saying in regards to that, not only putting out um, a quantity of in regards to content, but it also has to be quality as well. You have to put out yeah. both. It has to be quality and quantity. Of, a quantity, otherwise you are not going anywhere in this space. And testament to you, Saeed, because your work rate impeccable. You live every day, and not only you live every day, you're then doing the the match reactions after the games, which people love, and then the clips that go up. On, on the Instagram and then you're even doing the match recaps after like for those that I don't know if you've been under a rock somewhere MUFC Unfiltered Podcast that's tonight that I'm fortunate enough yeah. to be on yeah for real and Rand said it nah, here best community it. on YouTube gang yeah, business real, loyal you people will pull up no matter what time you are live no matter what content like when Saeed starts his non-football channel I know everybody's going to be over there I'm going to be over there let's see what's going on 100% yeah for real nah appreciate yeah, it man. that's what shows you get me like People just, you know what I mean? They'll show up in it. You get me? Like, look at that. When when Anna says there, when you got wavy content, people will show up. You know what I'm saying? Too. So I feel like that's something that's impeccable. And you get me? Like, it's just, it's a testament to the people, but it's also a testament. You got to sometimes hell yourself up as well, man. You know what I mean? You got to give yourself credit and be like, yo, like, man's not here by luck. Man's here by, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's me, isn't it? Like, it's skill. Got, a lot of people don't do that. They don't give themselves self-praise and self you know what i mean bro like they don't have that self-confidence like man's meant to be here like ain't nobody kind of say that i i made you and that bro nah you made yourself bro how about that you know what i'm saying you made yourself because you've had you success I mean? everywhere you've been that's why you're having success now if somebody had made you in particular if you then leave them you'd be nothing without them so what are we talking yeah. about here exactly. what, are we, what, are we talk, what are we talking about here say tv you're on road to 100 100k that's on you because if that exactly. was the case, everybody would be on their way to 100K. Everybody would have had the growth. Everybody would be on Big Six. Everybody would be on the Mount Rushmore. Everybody would be a pioneer in which you are, in particular, like I said, from Manchester United fans from Manchester. But they're not. There's a reason it's yeah. you, Saeed. And that's what this show's about, is giving you our flowers and letting you know 
like how great you are as a content creator. Like I say, from an individual standpoint, from me, from a selfish standpoint, say all the time, love for everything you've done for me. Much appreciate. I appreciate, man. man. Yeah, like Likewise, for real, all the support you show, man. Advice you've given, man. Having me on your channel on a weekly basis as well. Pulling up to the specials when I need you. If I need you, I see you in the comment section, etc. So yeah, always, it. always, man. I've got this community for yourself. You built, like you said, you're not just only a football YouTuber. You know what I mean? Man's a rapper. Man does MC and man does bear. Like people don't roll flawless, no, but he man, does like it. a wide, like variety. Right, of stuff, man. You know what I mean? Like Mister Take Note. That's why he's called. <laughs> Take Note. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. So I appreciate um, that. You've got, you got a variety, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you could step into any scene. You're doing music videos. You're doing whatever. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like man, like flawless is doing bits. Like you know, not only just mm -hmm. this football, boxing. I mean everything, bro. Soccer and City that. TV. You know what I'm saying? We out here see endorsed from the from the goats. So yeah, I'm saying that's why no one can't tell me nothing. Because you know why? The people I'm fans of and the goats of this thing rate me. So that's why I, I don't hear when people be talking rubbish. Yeah, but your favorite content creator fucks with me. What are we talking about? Like that's what it yeah. is. I love Saeed, man. Nah, that's I'm real talk. Man. And I know you gotta go very, very shortly, so I'm not gonna hold you up um too 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 far as well. But Actually, you lot run up the likes first and foremost. We're at 329. There's still over 400 people. Let's get up to 350 likes, people. Hit the subscribe button. That's subscribe good. to Saeed's channel. We've done the whole backstory, everything like that. Just quickly, your thoughts on current Manchester United, where we stand, Ineos, yeah. Jim Ratcliffe, Ten Hag still in charge. Not a good season, but we are into the semi-final of the FA Cup. Where do you stand with the manager? Do you want him gone right now? Is it dependent on the FA Cup? Where do you stand if he wins the FA Cup? Keep him, or are you saying get rid of Ten Hag? Yeah, I, I'm. Listen, I've said it um, a few times to a few people. Like, it's not dependent on anything if this manager stays or goes. Like, he has to go for me. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like even if he wins the FA Cup, like he's got to go. If he gets Champions League football, he's got to go. If he gets both, he's got to go. Like, I feel like. The FA Cup wouldn't show me anything different. And this top four as well. Getting top four now wouldn't show me anything different because the top four race or the top five race, like it's, get, it's getting even more mediocre because it's like they're, they're telling you now you can finish five, fifth position. I still get Champions League football. Like, what, like, you know what I'm saying? But like, come on, man. So now it's acceptable to have a shit season and be on zero goal difference and, you know, <laughs> to score less goals than Luton. But oh, we've got fifth position. And... Be in the competition, the same competition that we literally came out of in December. But oh, it's okay. You know what I'm saying to you? So uh, that's why I just don't get it. You know what I mean? And the FA Cup, listen, cool. You win it. It helps with your CV. You know, you win the car back on the FA Cup and we keep it moving. I feel like every other club, top clubs here, they don't have this sentiment. Xavi is leaving Barcelona. If we had Xavi as manager, we had it with Oli. Look how long it took us. Yeah, and I would say Xavi is more of a bigger legend than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is. Let's mm. be honest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, end of the day, yeah, Xavi is getting... And he he won the title last season. Yeah, he won the title last title. season. He won the league. Oh, yes, he did. He did, yeah. But yeah, he's going and it isn't an outrage. By him really, when they sat managers, it isn't an outrage. I just feel like, for me, it's one of them where, yeah, we want to build something. We're, we, we're not that club that sacks managers. But at the same time, there ain't no long-term Fergie anymore. I've had Fergie. And I've been blessed. I'm sorry who didn't who didn't get to see Fergie. I actually yeah. feel sorry for the people, bro, because Facts, I'm like yeah. I got to see Fergie. Good, good times, the phenomenal times. Yeah. yeah, but I also realize that there won't be any other Fergie around because, and I don't want it to be another Fergie. I'll be honest, with you, I actually don't want it. I want a guy to come in two, three years, does a job, and he and he bounces. You know what I mean, that's what it is. Success in the football club, yeah, 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 yeah. success, man. Win yeah, trophy, yeah, yeah. success, enjoyment. You know what I'm saying to you. But Ineos and what they do, they've just got to make sure they're right. They make correct decisions. They've just got to make sure they're not That's led not by. Ineos. Yeah. What do you want to see? Yeah. What do you want to see from Ineos? What do you actually want them to do in the summer? This is a huge summer for them. Be firm, have a plan, and execute. So be firm in your decision making. Like what you say you're gonna go go out to do, you do it. You know what I'm saying? So if you have this idea that your manager is is your new manager coming in, you do it. You know what I'm saying to you? You do it. You plan as well. You've had a while now. You know what I mean? I think the, the, the Ashworth thing's getting a bit too long, but they're mm -hmm. sorting it out. You have a plan that you get get the uh, conversation done. Omar Barada comes in. He's been a while. He's been announced like a couple of months ago. Is he planning behind the scenes? Like, so the planning has to be there. We can't be going on freestyling, you know what I mean? In the summer, be like, yo, what are we doing? 
<laughs> yeah, freestyle. No, none of that freestyle. You know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying to you. And then set, the third one is execute. Like, yeah. like literally, bam, bam, bam. Like, you know, like we're, we're moving serious. Early June, early Ju early July. We're, like, if we had all our business done early July, early June, bro, like, does, is anyone going to be asked? I don't think yeah, we are. Yeah. Are yeah. any injuries? Ferg used to get his stuff done early, man. You know what Facts. I mean, bro? Like, Facts. his stuff done early. You know what I'm saying to you? So, end of the day, like, if we can get everything sorted, get rid of players out, so execute. If you execute that, simple. But they have to do, they have to do it in a way that's not led by, like, fans, bro. Like, we as fans, yeah, we can have our opinion online and say what we want, but they've got to come in and be like, yo, we're doing this our way. You know what I'm saying to you? And if they do it our way, then I think, I think, then people can't complain. If they have a accountability about them and they have that feeling like, yo, we're just doing it, and we're gonna we, we know what we're doing. Obviously, the Southgate thing's not gonna we don't want that to happen or it's serious situations. Mm -hmm. But if they come in and maybe it might be a deserving that I might not be fond of as my first choice, but mm -hmm. you know what? They've come in and set the stall of this is the way we're playing. And I'm like and I'm glad they said that where our decision is gonna be based on the way we play, our style of play, mm -hmm. what we see that like they've they've they put out there the guidelines of what they are. So yeah. I hope that they they stick by that, bro. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I'm, I'm with and I'm fully with that. And just quickly, because like I said, I know you got a dip. Is there a particular manager you want right now? Who would be your first choice? Even though I get what you're saying from a structural standpoint, and I'm with you. Like I want us to pick. I want us to have yeah. a set style. But is there a certain manager you I want? I said Hansi Flick. I said Hansi okay. Flick because yeah. I feel like he would come in for about three, three to four years max, three years max, build the foundations, and then we and then we kind of bring in the next kind of like Hansi Flick. Who can then be the main guy taking us forward? And it's almost like the same school. It's like Pep Guardiola, like, you know what I mean? Like, he will now bring in a manager similar in terms of his philosophy. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, same way with other managers in the past, like, you know. So if it is him or the Inter Milan manager, Simeone Inzaghi, I think he's another top manager. Mm -hmm. But at this, at this stage now, I can't lie to you. I'm just about, if you, if you make a decision, just own it. You know what I'm saying? Just own oh, it nice. and then we'll get behind it. Simple. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, as long as it's not Southgate, anything else, <laughs> like, exactly I'm with it. You know what I mean? But as long as you know you got a plan and you yeah. know what you're doing, simple. First, first. And I think that's the, the, the best way to end this special, Saeed. Great oh, yeah, having you on, man. For real, man. Definitely, as soon as I was putting the specials together this week, I was like, shouted Saeed and was like, all right, when can we pattern this and get you on again for another special and do the backstory and very, very interesting backstory. And I learned new things that I didn't know along the way yeah. as well. But anything you do want to add before we close out and just get to the super chats and everything like that? Yeah, no, nah, listen, man. Just like the video first and foremost. Follow me here, Saeed TV. And Link yeah, man, pile. big up to the community. Yeah, links to the, yeah, there you go, man. Big up the community, big up Sarkism City, big up everyone who's locked in. And yeah, just keep drumming the likes up, man, because it's been a good chat, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, Nearly two good. hours in, so big up to everyone locked in, man. I have I fully and I fully enjoyed this 110 percent Let me get to and I see all of you lot in the comments, man. Big up, big up to Chris Clark for this super chat. Says Spud me G Saeed is a national treasure, worldwide treasure. Facts. Nah, big up nah. to you. Big up to my Dan Surfer. Says uh big up to both of you. Question for Saeed. How do I get my curtains <laughs> off a wall? Shout out each and every time to win the surfer. And big up to Sheep. Oh, says big up Saeed. He says top five are worst games you've been to, if you can rattle them off quickly. Um, Newcastle away, um, recently Man City away when we lost in the final. Um, Liverpool 5 0. Um, Man City 3 0. Um, yeah, pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's that's I mean, it, bro. Them, them big, big, big defeats. Big freaks. Let's take and big up to Rance who says big up the man and every time. Make sure you subscribe to Rance. Make sure you watch Rance's special, people. For those that don't know, I've been doing specials all week long. So Saeed's here with his special. Rance has done a special. Lee Gunner, Troops, Matisse, Carefree Lewis G, Don Hassam. And I'm trying to pattern a couple for tomorrow, but keep a lookout, people. And it's backstories in regards to all them great content creators because it's about giving them their flowers. So I just need you lot to put Saeed with fire emojis in the chat and let my know that, like the super chat said, no, national treasure, worldwide treasure, worldwide treasure. But hey, Saeed, big love, nah, man. Thank you. Every time, man. Like I say, salute to you for everything you've done in the space. 
everything oh, you get you deserve 100k go hit then you're gonna get 200k 300k half a mil a mil and you just gonna continue to ascend in this space fam like when we do this special oh, again sure. In two, three years' time, we're going to be talking a whole different thing. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, a whole, like, 100K whole... party. What happened on that night? You know yes. what I'm saying? So, oh, 100K yeah, party is going to slap. You know what I'm saying? 100K yeah, party real, is going to slap. Can't wait for that. For that real, 100K party is going to slap. But big up to everyone who has locked in, man. Salute. And just to clarify, people, again, run up the likes. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. We're at 350. Let's get up to 400 likes. And don't forget, this show on audio, all the specials you've seen this week, all of the specials are available on audio only platforms, people. Audio only, so Spotify, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, wherever you listen to podcasts, type in Sarcasm City TV, and all of the specials will pop up. And Tamayo says, Bring back JV. JV just crazy busy, but I'm going to try getting back on. What do you yeah, big up JV, JV, man. JV every single time because that's who i started in this content creator space with umpire radio from a third eye view which saeed already mentioned as well run up the likes big up to my guy eddie we are going to redirect to somebody as well again saeed i know i've asked this already once but yeah man anything you want to add to the people them anyway you know what scrap that any words of wisdom for the people them in regards to this yeah you've done a lot and keep, been through a lot keep believing yeah keep believing in your dreams keep believing what you want to try and do Keep consistent, you know. I mean, don't let anyone tell you that you can't do things in life, and and yeah, man. Keep and also stay humble as well, man. Stay humble, stay grounded. Anything can go away at any time, man. So you gotta just stay, stay, stay locked in, and yeah, man. Just keep whatever you do in life, yeah. Keep grinding, man. Keep grinding. Keep believing. Don't give up, man. Don't give up, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, or, or whoever she, he. You know what I'm saying so. Big up, man. Love that. And in particular in this space as well, man, like you can't trick, you can't cheat the system. You can't skip the steps. You can't. can't skip Trust the staircase, the staircases, people. You really, really can't. So big up again, Saeed, man. Nothing but love for doing this because I know how busy you are as well, man. So I know you'd be working on your channel. Let them know like what you've got coming up. Let them know what you've yeah, got coming so up. Yeah, 9 30. Yeah, 9.30 will be live. Me flawless, double A, Ash. Um, yeah, we'll be live 9.30. I think we're just going to talk about some latest Scott McTominay rumours. Apparently, might be getting a contract. And yeah, just in general, what's the plan for Ilios, man? Do they have a plan? Summer recruitment, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. So yeah, man, we're just going to be talking about that. So yeah, 9.30, people. We'll be there. We'll be there. And yeah, man, big up to everyone that's locked in. And you know what I'm going to do? Even though he's not live till 9, I'm going to send you lot over to my guy, Sheik. Because we're talking about come up and no, help him. Sheik, I'm going to send all of you lot over to my guy, Sheik TV. You can catch him here on Man Them United podcast uh, twice a week. You also catch him on the Manchester United watch alongs. Also, yeah, over watch along. Also on Q&As as well. So I'm going to direct you lot over to Sheik. So make sure you just drop the like button over there on the video, sorry, and hit the subscribe as well. Rama, I wish I could get Bainsey on a special. But Bainsey not interested in being on camp. Bro, I, I just about got him for a special, but I reckon once the summer goes, once let, I think it's once he finishes studies for the summer, I reckon then we could maybe squeeze in maybe a special, because that would be a special special. Exactly. You know what I would try people. That's why, but that's why I've tried. That's why I'd even shout him this week for the set of specials. But I've tried to get him on before, and it's like he's not with it. And even when he was on Taiki's yeah. channel, I was gassed. But he's like, ah, I'm not with it. Even when I spoke to him afterwards, he was yeah. like, nah, I'm not with it. So it's just unfortunate. Yeah, it took me a while to get that. So Chow summer, Bing. summer, summer, hopefully. Yeah. Summer, hopefully. But anyways, love to everybody that's locked in. Really enjoyed this live stream, people. Like I say, back tonight on Taiki's channel. Make sure you subscribe to the Sarcasm City TV Gaming YouTube channel. Oh. Get over to the playback where we'll be doing NBA watch alongs as well. And I might try some Premier League and Champions League watch alongs on there. Links for everything I just mentioned underneath in the description. But this has been another Sarcasm City TV special spe with special guest Saeed live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in.